Hello, Gemini. How are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your person on your mind reading. Whoever you're thinking about, that is who this reading is intended for and everything that you will need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. All right, Gemini, let's take a look and see what we have going on for you guys. The person on your mind, their feelings towards you. We have the Six of Pentacles, their intentions. We have the Six of Wands, their actions and behaviors. We have the Devil, your feelings towards them, the Two of Cups, the challenge between the two of you, the Page of Pentacles, and the potential outcome, the Ace of Cups. All right, we have the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So, I feel like somebody just needs to, I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is somebody who's newer. This is a newer connection. And I do feel like this person has been through some things in the past. Okay. And I do kind of feel, what is that expression? What do people say? Uh, punishing new people for past people's mistakes. I feel like that's something that's going on here. Where I almost feel like this, where this person is kind of punishing you, Gemini, for some of the things that they've been through in the past. Now, we have this King of Swords here. It's kind of a no-nonsense kind of energy. It says we can all learn important things from one another. And I do kind of feel like there is this, especially with this learning energy here and then the Page of Pentacles. I feel like this person just needs to get to know you for you. Okay, they just need to know you more. And then they're going to start to feel more comfortable in things. Because I do feel like this person could kind of be, you know, being a little bit detached. They could be... Um, yeah, I mean, I don't, I, it's, it feels like a very like strict kind of curt energy here. Now, I do feel like there's going to be some conversations coming up between the two of you. We do have this uh, Queen of Swords where I feel like you're going to be speaking up for yourself. You know, letting this person like kind of know like how you're feeling about the way that they're treating you in the situation. But I feel like the Queen of Cups is right under that. And the Queen of Cups is someone who's very caring, very compassionate. I feel like this person is hesitant to give too much, okay? And I, even though I do feel like they want this to work, we have the Six of Wands here for their intention. I feel like they do want this to work. They do want this to be successful. I feel like they're hesitant to give too much, especially with the Six of Pentacles being their feelings, like they're really focused on how much they're giving. And I think it's because of this. You know, in this deck, it's the devil. They call it toxic witches. And it says, be cautious of those who take more than they give. You know, so I feel like this person is kind of like on edge about that. They are being very cautious about how much they give to this connection. Because I feel like in the past, they have dealt with people that, you know, just took and took and took and took or used them. There's something like that here, okay? So now they're like being extra extra cautious but i almost feel like they're punishing you for that that's that that's where that came from like punishing new people for past people's stuff here but i do feel like they want this to work you know the page of pentacles is a student i just feel like there one needs to be more communication but two i also feel like this person needs to just know you more like they just need to get to know you more um and then they're going to start to feel so especially if this is something that's very very new okay now you definitely see a connection here with this person we got the two of cups the two of cups can also represent a face-to-face -face conversation maybe there's something that you're like you know what this has kind of been rubbing me the wrong, wrong way it's been bothering me but i'm gonna wait till we're like in person we're gonna sit down and have a conversation with this and you can see that with that queen of swords and that queen of cups like i feel like you handle it very well i feel like you're you are willing to listen to what somebody has to say, but you're also going to be very forward and say what you need to say, but you're also very ca like caring and compassionate to where this person is. Um, you know, they're really lucky to have you, Gemini. And I feel like it's going to be very positive because it, it's like this conversation just kind of brings everything together here. We have this Ace of Cups, you know, and in this deck, in this card, uh, in this deck, it's called Potion, right? And it's like a lot of things have to come together to make a potion, right? A lot of different ingredients, a lot of different things. And you know, you guys are different, but you guys can still come together to to create something beautiful here. And it just it's going to take, um, it's just going to take having this conversation. We're going to start to clarify some things, but let's get into it. Tell me about this Six of Pentacles energy.
We have this three of wands. You know, three of wands can talk about waiting for the right time. So like this person could maybe be holding back because they're like waiting to see, like they're waiting for the right time to give more. And like I said, I just feel like that's because of what they've been through in the past. Tell me about this. Tell me about this devil energy. Why is this devil energy here? We got the strength card and the eight of wands. So I definitely feel like you're going to have to have the courage to have this conversation with this person, um, you know, and just speak up about how you feel. And I, and I do feel like you're going to be able to uh, work through whatever this is here. Tell me about this page of pentacles. You got the two of swords. Some of you guys have been indecisive about whether you should say something or not, but you feel like you feel have this connection. You feel like it says some people are the pumpkin to your spice, right? Like you feel like it's, there's too much potential here. There's too good of a connection to to let it get ruined over something like this. It's to not even bother to try to communicate about it. So I definitely see this conversation coming up. Tell me about this Ace of Cups. Why is that the potential outcome? We got this Five of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. So... You know, I feel like this person is just going to take time for them to get past this, to get past everything that's happened in their past, to get past the past here. Okay, I feel like this could be actually an emotional conversation. I just noticed here how there's like this uh, like stir inside of this, right? I feel like this conversation could stir a lot up for this person. It could be a very emotional conversation that you end up having where I feel like it really does help you guys get to know each other on a deeper level. Um, but this Wheel of Fortune, you know, I feel like they're still kind of grieving the loss of what happened. They're still hurt over it, uh, what happened in the past. And I, But I do feel like this is going to help them get past it. So I do see, I do think this is positive. Um, I think this conversation is really going to um, bring you guys closer than ever. But that is what I have for you. I do hope that this helps. Now, if this resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements. Everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, you can just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and then I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys for being here and I will see you next time.